Barbie's younger sisters ask her for a bedtime story, so she tells them the tale of the handsome Prince Kendrick, or Ken for short. I wonder if the real Ken knows Barbie tells romance stories about him for fun. Argofon book review, Argofon book review. Prince Ken is an idealist who wants to get married for true love. He's met most of the princesses in the area, but he doesn't like any of them. He doesn't want to marry those girls. His dad says, fine, if Ken doesn't like the last princess, he can marry whoever he wants, even if it's some random peasant girl. Ken's manservant is named Alan. Alan has a fake goatee. Alan prepares for a trip to the nearby kingdom, while Prince Ken stargazes and decides he wants to marry a princess who appreciates the simpler things in life. Call me crazy, but maybe he should have figured out what qualities he wants in a wife BEFORE he started wife hunting. Ken gets simple cloth, rocks, and oxen for the princess. Alan and the other servants beg him to bring her real presents, like gold, and something that won't accidentally offend her parents and maybe start a war. On the way to the princess's castle, a peasant stops Ken and begs for help. A carriage fell over into a river, and people are trapped! Ken helps the woman save everyone. The oxen do most of the heavy lifting, but we can pretend Ken is strong enough to lift a carriage by himself. The woman is very grateful and introduces herself as Barbie. Even though she's messy, Ken thinks she's beautiful. Ken uses his rocks to fix the roof of Barbie's schoolhouse, while Barbie uses his cloths to make clothes for the school children. You know how much Barbies love clothes. The two of them flirt a bit. Ken purposely hides the fact that he's a prince. They agree that they both like simple things, and Ken stays overnight so he can spend a second day with Barbie. Finally, Ken arrives at the castle, where he's shocked to discover Barbie is the princess! She disguised herself as a peasant, just like he did. Ken proposes to Barbie, and they kiss. There's a big royal wedding where everyone wears fancy outfits. Barbie ends the story there because her sisters are asleep. Barbie goes to bed so she can continue the story in her dreams. Huh. I wonder what sort of post-marriage dreams Barbie is having about Ken. The end. Post-book follow-up. This was a cute book, and I liked it. The story is simple and predictable, but it's also sweet. If this was a generic fairy tale that wasn't connected to Barbie at all, I would still like it okay. I think the pictures in this book could have been improved because the backgrounds were rather blurry. In the second picture, there's a blurry doll that you can't see very well. The picture of Muddy Barbie and Ken was cute, and the pictures of Princess Barbie were a good note to finish on. Princess Barbie has three sisters, including Skipper, who's, what, one to two years younger than her? So technically, Barbie is not the last princess in the area who Ken can marry. Obviously, he's not going to marry Skipper instead of Barbie in one of these books, but it's still a possibility the king should have mentioned. In real life, if the prince wanted to marry the princess who's one year younger, I think both of the kingdoms would have been okay with that. Mainly, I think it's weird that the king didn't mention Barbie's name to Ken in advance. I'm sending you to meet this bride, but I won't tell you what her name is, ha <laughs> ha. Overall, it's a cute fairy tale. If my daughter wanted me to read it to her again, I wouldn't mind doing so. I give Barbie, the peasant, or the princess a thumbs up.